Stop it. New at five, disturbing numbers. Missouri ranking number one when it comes to black people killed in shooting homicides. Thank you for joining us. I'm Samantha Jones in for Claire Kellett. And I'm Corey Stark. The ranking, though, is nothing new for the state. It's the fourth year in a row the state took the number one spot. News 4's Vinton Blandin digging into the data and asking what's being done to change this. He's live in North St. Louis. When you enter this neighborhood, Corey and Sam, this area is off of Prairie and Ashland. You might find that it looks a lot differently from where you live, but this neighborhood has about six homicides, which doubles all other neighborhoods here in the city. And today we have learned that that is catching the attention of an organization that tracks black on black crime. One thing is for sure, crime is no stranger to any one part of St. Louis. For Clara Liggins in her Jeff Vanderloo neighborhood. It used to be beautiful and nice and quiet and beautiful. She's lived in the North City neighborhood for years and rarely hears of a home break-in or petty crime. But what she does find bothersome. Black folks is black folks. And you know, they broke in family dollar, they broke in dollar general, they broke in uh, check cash in place. And it's poor black neighborhood. The Violence Policy Institute in the nation's capital puts Missouri at the top of the list for black on black crimes using guns. Of all homicides, 414 were black. Digging into those numbers, the organization working to help stop gun deaths and injury says 6% were younger than 18 and 1% was older than 65. Only 48 were women. If you follow crime and poverty, the two go hand in hand. He spent decades mentoring, organizing demonstrations, and fighting for resources in his Ville neighborhood. Many News 4 viewers have asked why blacks march when whites kill blacks, but not when blacks kill blacks. If a black man shoots another black man, typically, you and I know this, there is some personal conflict that's unresolved that led to violence, okay? So it's personal, but when you have a police officer who kills a black person, well now that could happen to me, it could happen to my son, and it's no longer personal. The city's public safety director puts some blame for Missouri's gun violence rate for all races on the state lawmakers for removing the requirement for gun permits in 2017. Which means that anybody can carry a gun. And so any conflict or any argument tends to result in gun violence. Now, the Violence Policy Institute, based in Washington, D.C., used numbers compiled for their research from the years 2014 to 2017. Reporting live in North City, Vincent Blandon, News 4.